Hi, I'm Bally. I'm Mark. We're here at our fitting studio, the Smash Factory. We're in London, Ontario. Yep. Uh, today, well, it's been a little while. Yeah, we're gonna do a little challenge again. A little spinner challenge. Yeah. So Here's is, the rules. Absolutely, so under 50 yards total. It yep. can't go over 50 yards. Highest spin rate wins. 50.1 yards is a DQ. DQ, you're out of there. Yeah. Okay, so, so hit it 49.9. That's the goal. Yeah, so. don't push the limit. All right, we got a Jaws wedge here we're gonna test out. Yep. And let's see what we get. No, flip a D. Yeah, yeah, flip a D. All right, who's up? You're up first. Oh, does that mean I get to select who goes up? No, first? no, you're up first. Oh. That's how it works in golf. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so under 50 yards, three Pro V1Xs here. Brand new Jaws raw wedge. I had here. this in my pocket. You gonna... cheater! <laughs> no, that's not it. Doesn't fair. work if no. I go first. No, that's baloney. This cheater. is poop. That's funny. So get three fresh balls there. Yeah, they're fresh. So again, I need a glove. Anybody know where my gloves? There's only six. Oh, I found it. Here. I found it. I found it. It was, was in this it? pocket. <laughs> this is this is kind of a challenge we got from Gareth Rafleski. Yeah. He used to talk about this all the time. He goes, "What's the most you can spin it under 50 yards?" Sort of thing. Because obviously that's a shot that does come out pretty often. It's nice to be able to spin it. I'm glad he um, is not competing with us. Oh my God. He will lose. wax us. Yeah, it wouldn't even be close. I, I I'd let him only hit one ball, and I think we'd still be in trouble. Yeah. He's so, very very good at creating juice. Very good. So he's taught us a little bit. I my the method you're going to see me do is not quite. Gareth's method. I'm not as good as he is, but I'm sure Bally's going to kind of be in between here. I'm just trying to hit it. Yeah. So, 49 yards. Okay. So that that's total against. If it carries 40, rolls out to 50.1, he's out of there. That ball does not count. So you can't right. get too greedy here. And we get three in a row. Three in a row. Yeah. I'm cool with yeah. I think that's good. Well, that's got a lot on it. Yeah, I think I hit it too far. No, I think you're good. 82.85, okay, so okay, we'll call that 83. So you see 41.5 carry, 45 total. 82.85, which is yeah. a ton. That is a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah 8,200 RPM spin, that, yeah. that, that's, that stops. If you can do that outside with dirt and grass in your way and moisture, it's, you're doing very, very well. It would look pretty, pretty good, so. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get more than that. So now you now you've got your inner Gareth. Yeah, yeah, you've got your starter here. So that's got that's got to sit. That was open face. Oh, it's got to sit. Speeds up. I caught too much golf ball. Okay, so there's nine grand. Son of a one carry, beast total. So and this is DQ. how big do you want to get, right? Because you got 83. <clears throat> I think if I hit one good, I can beat that. Yeah, I know. But I also could bust. Okay, 45 total here. Steep and hold it open. Yeah. Steep and hold it open. Yeah. Keep the shaft vertical. Oh, that's good. Too. That's going to be really close. Sit. It's got a same That's going to be really close. One. 9,000. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Poo! 51.1 carry, 3.7 total. All right, well, that was a pretty good attempt. Yeah, he thinks he's lost, but I'm going to hit these all way too far. I'm all amped up. All right. All right, so I got 83.50 to beat. A little bit of a different technique. That's got to sit. Yeah, too. that's coming. That came out low. Oh, 54. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, no, I would have had it though. Setting. Okay, so I've got the number. Okay. So okay. so far, Mark has none. I got nothing. Come on. Don't be afraid to hit it hard. Come on. Uh, that's not going to spin enough. It's good. going too far again. See the pressure's on. See the pressure's on now. Because I'm hitting it so low. On. Yeah, Jesus. So that is another DQ. However, it did spin more. Yeah, it did spin more. Good enough for second place. Okay, be quiet. Here we go. No whammies. That's got to be short. Yeah, I just. Oh, it's it so close. Spin. It's gonna be foot long. Yes. No. <laughs> Eighty one. Yeah. Ah, uh, that sucks. Suck it. He rigged it. I didn't even have to cheat. These golf balls, I know. God, all right. Didn't even have to cheat. God. And they're RCTs, so you can't blame it on like a misread with spin no, or anything like I that. No, that was correct. You should've got the shaft vertical the way Gareth taught. Should've done that. Oh, that would've been really good. That, wow, that was really good. Too bad oh. you're a loser and buckled under the pressure. Hey! I don't want to be friends with you anymore. 
It feels so good to win. I can't believe I just lost. <laughs> you know, you think I'd get used to you, Matt. Wouldn't Mark left. Don't edit that out. Sorry, he just beat me. Um, no, I have to do, a, no, I have to do to some it. sort of fucking challenge. Yeah. Bryce beating the camp. So I'm going to do the rest of this show on my I'm own. Not Mark to lose. Off. God damn in the corner it. There. Well, Mark? How about we do an outro? No, I'm done. Okay, show people some <laughs> technique here right, in, so, in, in this trick. So, I mean, now should I show it? Because clearly, I'm better. <sighs> okay, well, show them the Gareth way, and okay, then we so, got to get Gareth in here. Let's guilt him into coming. We should and showing people how to do it we properly, should. as opposed to watching us fumble around like idiots. <laughs> so the reason the reason I do it the way I do it is I hit down on it a ton and try and deliver as much loft as I can, but my path goes way left, so it's extremely inconsistent, and that's why like out of three shots. It was close, right? And I, I didn't quite get one. But the way that you would actually do it, Matt does it more like you would on a golf course. He, sta he stands a little bit closer to it. Shaft becomes a little bit more vertical and he opens the face a little bit. And then he's got this like very hingy to hingy kind of release, right? So you're, you're not, your arms aren't traveling a long distance. You're trying to bring it to your right pocket and bring it to your left pocket, right? And that's where like you can get the most amount of energy transfer off. Well, see, there you go. So if I hit that a little bit harder, I probably got a little bit more spin. In, but that's a shot that it looks that went 28 yards and spun almost seven grand <laughs> yeah and like really good we've we've watched gareth do that on a range outside one bounce it into the rough and pull it out of the rough on a 25 yard shot it's yes. the most magnificent thing i've ever seen in my life very good and um so that's where for me a lot of it too and you really want to make sure your path doesn't get too far left because you're going to tow it and then your your spin's just side spin it's not back spin so the way that gareth would kind of explain it um would be and i hope i'm not stepping on his toes here but what i've gleaned from it is the face has to stay back right you can't have your handle forwards you have to try and deliver as much loft as you possibly can and it's going to feel weird because most of us are handle leaners so this, this is dynamic that this, we're absolutely so you're maintaining dynamic but you're also introducing the bounce right so if i'm like this i can i can miss it back here and i'm still going to slide that along the turf right so gareth hits them fat all the time and they're really not fat they're just a little bit behind it right so i'll show you kind of the way that he would do it where you try and get that path out to the right all right, so there's one I could feel it bounce a little bit, but that's gonna be about 50 yards and there's a decent amount of spin, right? 65, I'm not <laughs> nearly as, as, I don't need it to be so dramatic on the golf course and this is a much safer shot. So it's definitely something that I, I do quite a bit is handle back, try and create a little bit of angle here and thin the crap out of it. It's perfect. No, so, I mean, Matt, I mean, that's the way that I do it and I think, <clears throat> When I'm trying to do be aggress aggressive here and get as most as I possibly can, I'm trying to create a really steep angle with lots of loft, right? And really grab that golf ball. But I would probably not do that on a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a little bit dangerous. It's a little you're aggressive. To do it. Yeah, because the miss is into somebody's yeah. parking lot. So yeah. I'm going to avoid that. But, but, but a quick tip just to sum it up. Yeah. Get the shaft vertical. Vertical, yeah. Um, hands back as much as you can. Hands back, which seems very, very weird. And it just presents a lot of loft at impact. Exactly, without so being like scoopy. One right. of the things we talk about when people are fitting, we fit with seven irons in here, people have their dynamic loft. For sure. So, so suddenly it's, you know, if they present too much loft with a seven iron, they might spin it at 75, 80, 75, eight grand, eight so. grand yeah. ball just balloons up in the air. So if you're one of those people that finds, you know, downwind, I hit it far, but into the wind, it goes nowhere. Yeah. You could be somebody who presents way too, too much, much loft at impact. Exactly. We're deliberately creating a, a, a ton of loft at impact. That's, that's exactly that's it. That's what we're doing. Right. So again, take the opposite if you'd like to, too, if you want to hit it with less spin, handle forwards and be shallow. Right. And that's where you're going to get the one that chases, or that's kind of how you hit a stinger in, in that sense yep. too so you want to create as much dynamic as you possibly can that's why hands are back create as much angle as you possibly can as well and obviously try and strike it pretty good and lower on the face than anything you definitely don't want to hit this high on the face so pin that pretty good oh it's getting close in case you're wondering matt's not as tall as i am Thanks for lowering the camera so I'm not in the frame like this. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Making fun of me.